and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you how I decorated my bedroom for Halloween. I will have some clips here and there as to how I decorated certain parts of the room, but I didn't film everything, so I just wanted to give you a little tour instead. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. I will be separating out the decoration videos by room, um, mainly because I have so many clips on my phone and on my camera and it was just getting so hard to just put them all together into one big decorate with me video so um in order for me to get these videos out to you guys i thought it was easier for me to just break it down room by room and so that is what i'm doing i'm starting off with the bedroom i will eventually do a full house tour so that will be coming up um and i'll have all of the lights off and everything to show you the full glory of the decorating so make sure to stay tuned for that video um this is my tall dresser and i just have the fall sign up here just ignore the l right there it broke when it was in storage but i may do anyways we have some pine cones some glittery acorns in this little tray super duper pretty just a little touch of fall here i'm just decorating the basket on my bedside table i started off with some decorative tool and i just placed that on the bottom and kind of fluffed it up and then I placed in my books that I'm currently reading and um, this time I was, I, I end up switching it up later and I'll show you guys, but uh, I was reading two books and they fit perfectly in this little basket. And then I also placed any other essentials that I may need, like my hand lotion and my body spray. And then I also had a sleeping mask, which I use, so I just keep that in there. Um, just for easy access and it worked out great here is the finished bedside table we'll just start with my halloween <laughs> starbucks cup um it's not really halloween it's just orange but still this is my washer cup that i use and as a coaster i've used the top of the bath and body works candle which is right uh burning right now and um this is the pumpkin carving candle which smells absolutely delicious and i have it on my pumpkin pedestal and it's like a soft touch kind of velvety feel i love this i got it last year but i do believe they have it this year as well and right here we have this little basket which my family gave me uh i think last year and it has mine and my husband's initials on here and it's decorated perfectly for fall i keep my books that i am currently reading so i have my spooky books i'm almost done with this one and then this is the harry potter one and then I also have my um, body lotion and body spray. I try to keep it themed. So yeah, this is marshmallow pumpkin latte, of course. And these books are constantly changing as I finish them. It's just nice to have my new books, um, fresh unread books in here. Since having all of this decoration out, I have already read and switched out to other books. So this is my third and fourth book. And yes, I'm reading to actually three books at the same time. If you follow me on Instagram, then I showed you a picture of all three of those books and they happen to all be green. I didn't even plan that, which I thought was interesting. Anyways, for our bed, we have some pillows. Um, I just put some black pillows and then a green pillow in the middle with my Heibu pillow. And the um, pillows that we actually sleep on are hidden in the back. <laughs> the blanket that we use is actually like a really soft plushy blanket. Um, my husband hates those really big comforters so uh, we started using these and these are just so comfortable to sleep in. And I have another extra one right here. Um, this is usually draped on the edge of my little bench here but I wanted to show you guys the blanket in all of its glory to show you all of the cute little ghosties. And then for the bench um, I just have some pink and green pillows to match the little throw and i have my little plushies which i recently hauled um both are from walmart in case you're wondering and i will link that video down below of course this completes the spooky bedroom tour i decided to add on the kitchen tour to this video as well and here we just have one section of the kitchen counter area um ignore the bananas oh my gosh i'm about to make some banana bread but um here it's just elevated on my griddle i haven't been using this lately so i just used it 
as a little pedestal, I guess. And on top, we have my two mugs that I always use. I'm currently drinking tea out of there, but I just kept it there to show you what it normally looks like. And um, this is, of course, my Radon Halloween mug, and then my Target Ghosty mug. And then on the bottom, we have this little plug-in from Bath & Body Works, and uh, it actually doesn't have a scent in it right now. I'm just using it as decor, but when I do find the scent, I'm going to be plugging it in back there. But anyways, on the bottom, we have little Mickey dressed up as a vampire, and he is holding up some candles. Um, this is the roasted pumpkin candle from Hobby Lobby. And then I have this Bath & Body Works candle. I believe this is mahogany teakwood. I just really like the matte black look of it and the fall leaves on top. I thought it was very pretty. This guy, <laughs> I didn't realize he was on top of here. Uh, I just got him from my cereal box. <laughs> but um, let's pretend, well actually he's kind of cute. You know what, I'm just going to keep him there. But anyways, um, in the back I have a plain matte black mug and it's kind of cool because when you put um, like a hot liquid in there it reveals your name so that's really cool and here I have some straws just to make it look extra festive you know orange and white and then I have my little ghosty tag hanging off the side here this is actually literally from I don't know one of the throw rugs or something that I got this year. But I loved this ghost so much, so I decided to keep him. <laughs> and he's just hanging off the side. And I thought it added a little extra something because this mug is just so plain. And then of course I filled the empty areas with some filler glitter pumpkins on either side and then a felt pumpkin right on top. So that is the first section of the kitchen. I have my little hand towels hanging off of the stove right here. Um, this one says the witch is in and it has these little cute bobbles which actually matches my pillows. I think I showed you in my last year's decorate with me but I really like how the bobbles match my orange pillow. And for the kitchen sink, I have my pumpkin hand scrub on this side. I made a DIY video a long time ago. Um, I'll link that video down below, but I use this every time my hands are looking a little rough, um, especially during the colder months. Uh, I use this a lot, so it's really nice if you want really soft, baby soft hands. And then here I switched out my soaps. Um, I already went through quite a lot of this. This, um, I got this from last year actually, but I, it was brand new when I opened it this year. This is the Perfect Pumpkin Foaming Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works. And then right next to it, I have this Pumpkin Spice Dish Soap. I actually got this from Home Goods last year, I believe. And I haven't been able to find another one since. And I'm like almost done with it. So hopefully I can find some more. I just like everything to be seasonal. Uh, as much as possible, as you can see. And on the other side of the counter are my Mickey heads. I have three. These are all to put little tea lights in so that they light up. I do have some tea lights in them right now, if you can see right in there. But I will, of course, show everything lit up during the full house tour, which will be coming up, like I mentioned before. So stay tuned. And then in the center, I have my cauldrons right here. And I just filled them up with some glittery pumpkins as well as some velvet pumpkins. I was planning on filling them with candy, but it is very dangerous for me to be alone with candy. So uh, I decided to just go with the little pumpkins. And right below that is this little basket filled with pumpkins. I was actually waiting to put this together for Thanksgiving, but I just couldn't wait any longer. There will be a haul video, but it'll only come out probably in November. So stay tuned for that. But just a quick, quick view. It has all these beautiful pumpkins and this beautiful basket with the leaves, just so festive. And that is the main counter. And then on the left side, we have my little coffee station. <laughs> it is jam packed. So let's start with this side. We have the little coffee syrup dispenser, which we decorated together. A couple of Halloweens ago, I'll 
try to link that video down below. It's also all on my Halloween playlist, so make sure to check that out. And then I have this guy. Um, we actually got it on our trip to Louisiana. Um, we went to New Orleans and they had a frozen daiquiri in here. It also came with a straw, but I can't find the straw, but I thought it looked very Halloween-y. And it reminds me of our trip, which was fun. And these are basically just hiding the hand sanitizer. And then right in front of that is this Hello Fall sign right here, which was from the Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. And then we have my Mickey mug. And inside is just this little cardboard thing. It's supposed to look like a potion. I got it from my Harry Potter cauldron that I bought years ago on Amazon. And I just kept it in there just to add a little bit of Halloween flair. And right next to it is my Trader Joe's Pumpkin Spice Rooibos Tea. And I just really like this canister, especially this kettle. Oh my gosh, I would love a real kettle like this. So gorgeous. And right next to it, we have a tear tray. And this one is, of course, themed, if you can tell. Snow White and the Evil Queen. We have my Poison Apple, which we also made together. I will link that video down below as well. And we have some tea lights. <laughs> This is actually elevated on a medicine cap <laughs> that happens to be orange. Oh gosh. Anyways, uh, I didn't have like a little pedestal, so this, this had to do. But he was just kind of sunk in there. So anyways, um, he's on a little pedestal. <laughs> and then we have Snow White on the side with her little pie. And look at the little animals next to her. So cute. And then the Evil Queen with her potion and her crow. I love this Funko Pop. I think it's so adorable. And then, right behind, we have an Evil Queen mug, if you can see. She's right in the center, but it does have the other villains there as well. And I really like the purple color. And I did fill that up with some decorative Halloween tool. And right below, we have a Snow White Ray Dunn mug. And it's kind of iridescent, which is really pretty. And then that also has some decorative tool in there. And then we have two more tea lights and an evil queen mug on this side with some decorative straws and then poison apple um, mug right on this side and this one i believe i got from spirit halloween last year and i do believe they still have it this year and it says one bad apple and then i have another evil queen mug in the back with some more decorative tool so it's basically Evil Queen with a little dash of Snow White. And right next to it, I have some Gideon's Bakehouse goodies. Um, I kind of wanted this to be themed all Gideon's Bakehouse, but um, I don't know. I just really liked the Snow White theme as well. So I just combined the two. This is just a little menu from the Gideon's Bakehouse that I got back in March, I believe. And I just framed it and I got this little frame from Dollar Tree and painted it a matte black and gold and it just i don't know it really really looks authentic to the shop if you've been there then you know like their theme is pretty much black and gold and then this one i actually found inside one of my cookies like it actually came in one of these and it was inside like the cookie packaging and i didn't know that they even had these i happened to notice this one hopefully i didn't throw the other ones away or i wonder if this is new maybe i'm not sure but it has like a little story of the kitten. So I thought that was cute. And right behind I have the Gideon's boxes. These are empty, but I just really like the look of them. The black and gold are just gorgeous. And um, I love the print and everything on it. And then right behind there we have this wooden sign and it says, there is magic in the night when pumpkins glow by moonlight. And I just love the look of this. The colors are perfect. These are all the colors that I decorate with. And I love the foil because as the light hits it, like the words just appear as if by magic. And these are elevated up by my little wine glasses that happen to be Disney villains. You can see right there. And I love those wine glasses. Those are actually from Home Goods. And each villain actually has like their own type of font, if you can see. Cruella de Vil, Maleficent, um, Ursula, and Evil Queen. I just really like the attention to detail there. Anyways, so that was the coffee bar. All right, you guys, so that was it for the kitchen portion of the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to stay tuned for the full Halloween house tour, which will be coming up soon. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!